Okay, I didn't do a very good job of taking videos. Once I had the back plane and I had the tines, it was just a matter of welding them on. I was going to mount the back plane on the skid loader, um, go to a piece of concrete, put the bucket down, and just weld them on. Fortunately, I didn't have anything that was flat. The only thing I had that was kind of flat was a trailer. So in here, you're going to see the back plane, the tines, and a trailer. This is me going back and talking about it. Okay, this is the best I could do here for setting this up. Um, just trying to square it up the best I can, and then I'll weld them on. Okay, I just laid them all out there, and that's pretty much what my grapple bucket will look like. Um, probably I should have marked all the dimensions on that flat piece. I kind of forgot about that. Maybe even back there. I think what I'm going to do is just, because this is sitting here, I'm just going to cut a block of wood that's the right size. And then uh, space them out like that. I'm not even going to pretend anymore. This thing is really kicking my ash. Um, I kind of laid the tines out there, and I must have a, a wah hinder or something in the bottom here because that is supposed to be 70. And when I get to 70, I got a kind of a gap in the bottom here. Oh, can we see it? No, I can't really see it. It's not quite right but i think it's close enough so we're gonna go with that couldn't handle it anymore i finally just cut two blocks and uh i tried the first few over here just to make sure i could get in there with the welder and everything and now i'm just gonna go tack 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 and then weld Okay, they're all welded. Gosh, that sucks. Not switching to become a welder anytime soon. Not that good at it. I get bored doing it. All right, here you can see my solution to the tine testing that didn't go so great. Just adding a bunch of gussets and hopefully that, uh, I'll never see that problem. I'm just gonna show this. All the uh, fancy buckets always have those like sawtooth looking thing where I think it's to like hold back your rocks or whatever you put in here. Um, what I was gonna show is if, if you were really gonna do this and you took these pieces that you cut off, just make them a little bit bigger and then you could put them on there, weld them on just like that and you got that same fancy thing going on, you know? What are you guys oh. doing? What are you looking for? A worm. There's worms in here? Oh, um, it's just a worm. Oh, it's just moving! Oh my god, that's a worm! It just put your hand out flat like this. Oh no, get the hair off it! Huh? Get the bite off it, please! I got another one! What? Here. Just get off the hair. Just stick your hand out. I don't like a wild worm. There's not wild worm. It is. Ah, there's a nut on it! There's a what? Right there. That's not a nut. That's part of the worm. <laughs> here, stick your pail over here. <laughs> yeah. You gotta put your hand out. Put I'm your not, hand. I'm not ready though. Why not? <sighs> you did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See if we can find any more.